Let's randomly answer question from one of our followers. At hindi na natin i-mention kung, kanin, kung sino siya kasi naka-private message ito. Ito yung tanong. Hi, Ma'am Lunalin. Asking your help po. Paano po mag-divide? Like, 1 divided by 8 para makuha yung 12.5%. Gusto ko po manual na solution po. Alam ko madali lang ito sa'yo. Salamat, Ma'am. Unahin natin itong 1 divided by 8. Hatiin sa walo yung 1. 1 divided by 8. Una, dito yung decimal sa 1. I-align mo sa taas. Dagdagan natin ng isang 0 para makuha natin kung ilang 8. Kasi yung kung 1 lang, 0 man yan, walang 8 sa 1. So, ngayon, nagdagdag na tayo ng 0. Ilang 8 ba dito sa 10? 10 na yan siya. Isa. 1 times 8 is equals to 8. 10 minus 8 is equals to 2. Kapag division, itong uh, decimal kasi natin, align mo sa taas, tapos yung nasa loob na, ignore mo na lang itong decimal. Kaya, 10, ang tawag natin dito ay 10. Ilang 8 ba sa 10? 1. 1 times 8 is equals to 8. 10 minus, uh, 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Tapos magdagdag ka pa ng isa pang 0. 20 na siya. Now, 20 ilang 8 ba sa 20? 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 20 minus 16 is equal to 4. Magdagdag ka pa ng isa pang 0. Now, it's 40. 40 divided by 8 or ilang 8 ba sa 40? 5. So, 5 times 8 is equals to 40. So, 0 na tayo. Dito na naman tayo mag-focus. 0.125. I-convert natin to percentage. Kapag mag-convert tayo ng percentage, mag-move lang tayo ng decimal to the right twice. 1, 2. So, nandito na si decimal at lagyan mo ng percent sign. So, that is 12.5. 5%. Klaruhin lang natin muna ito ha, bago tayo mag-proceed sa another example. Itong 1 divided by 8, pariho lang yan sa 1 over 8. Ito yung dividend natin. Ito naman yung divisor. Yung denominator yan yung divisor. Kapag gawin mo naman ganito, yung 1 ay nasa loob. Si 8 ay nasa labas kasi yan yung divisor. Now, let's do another examples. 1 fourth means 1 divided by 4. Kung i-manual natin yan, that is 1 divided by 4. Magdagdag tayo ng 0 para maging 10 yung 1 natin. Pero yung, yung decimal natin i-align mo sa taas. Now, ilang 4 ba sa 10? Dalawa. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 10 minus 8 is equals to 2. Magdagdag pa tayo ng isa pang 0. 20 divided by 4. O ilang 4 ba sa 20? 5. 5 times 4 is equals to 20. So, 0 na yan. And this is 0.25. At i-convert natin yung 0.25 into percent. I-move lang natin yung Decimal to the right twice, tapos maglagay ka ng percent sign. So, this is 25%. Another way ay 0.25, i-multiply mo ng 100% and that is equals to 25%. Kinopya natin yung percent sign. Isa pang paraan. One fourth na in convert into percentage. I multiply natin ng 100%. Remember, lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroon yung automatic na denominator na 1. So, ang multiplication of fraction, numerator to numerator, 1 times 100 equals 100. Denominator to denominator, 4 times 1 is equals to 4. Kopyahin si percent sign. Now, 100 divided by 4 and that is equals to 
percent. Kopyahin pa rin si percent sign. Remember, from fraction tayo, tapos i-convert natin to percentage. Itong ginawa natin dito ay napaka-helpful kapag one-third, two-third, yung mga hindi exact ba, na kung i-divide mo siya, repeating decimals ang kakalabasan, katulad nitong one-third. One-third means one divided by three. So, bali, one divided by three. Lagyan natin ng, uh, magdagdag tayo ng isang zero. I-delete na lang natin itong nasa taas. Magdagdag tayo ng isa pang zero para ma-divide siya sa three. Ilang three ba sa ten? At by the way, yung decimal mo align mo sa taas. So, that is three. Three times three is equals to nine. 10 minus 9 is equals to 1. Dagdag ka pa ulit na isa pang 0. Paulit-ulit na point 33. So, halimbawa, 3-3. Itong point 33, point 3-3-3-3. Okay. Never ending yan siya. Mag-move tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right bago tayo maglagay ng percent sign. So, bali, this is 33.33 at never ending na 3. Percent. So, hindi tayo, hindi siya exact. Kahit sabihin nating 33% yan, hindi siya exact na one-third, ang 33%. Kaya ang the best dito ay, ikip natin si one-third. Tapos, i-multiply natin ng 100% kasi i-convert natin to percentage. Again, lahat ng mga Whole numbers, mayroon yung automatic na 1 as denominator. Numerator to numerator, 1 times 100 and that is 100. 3 times 1 and that is 3. At yung percent sign, kopyahin yan. 100 divided by 3 and that is equals to 33 and 1 third. Percent. Nandun pa rin yung percent sign. Isa-isahin natin ha. 100 divided by 3. This is 3, 9, tapos isa pang 3, 9 ulit. At yung remainder na 1, ito yan. Yung uh, denominator natin na 3 or yung divisor na 3, ito naman yung denominator natin dyan. So, therefore, ito ay 33 and one-third percent. Now, let's do another example, itong two-third. So, dito na tayo sa two-third. I-multiply natin ng 100 percent. Again, numerator to numerator, automatic na numerator na yung 100 kasi whole number siya. So, this is 200 over 3. Tapos yung percent sign mo, kopyahin yan. 200 divided by 3 or ilang 200 ba sa 3, isa-isahin natin yan siya. So, this is, ilan ba yan? 6. 6 times 3 is equals to 18. 2 ulit. So, obviously, 6 ulit, 18, tapos 2. So, therefore, 66. Tapos itong 2, yan yung numerator. At itong 3, yan yung denominator. So, this is 66. Again, 66 and 2 third percent. And yan pa rin yung percent. So, si 66 and 2 third percent, ang equivalent sa fraction yan ay 2 third. Another example para masanay kayo kung paano ito i-convert into percentage. Ang one-half. Ang one-half ay one divided by two and that is equals to 0. 0.5. Tapos mag-move tayo ng this two decimal places to the right twice, one, two. Ang space lagyan mo ng zero tapos magdagdag ka ng percent sign. So that is 50%. Now, doon tayo sa another way, 1 half times 100 percent. Since itong 100 na to, whole number man yan siya, so doon mo sa numerator i-multiply. 1 times 100 equals 100. Then, si 
to sa denominator. Ang percent sign mo, wag mong kalimutan. 100 divided by 2, that is equals to 50. 50 percent. Next. Itong 1 over 200. 1 over 200 is the same as 1 divided by 200. And this is 0 0.005. So, i-convert natin to percentage. Mag-move lang din tayo ng decimal, two decimal places to the right. 1, 2, bago lagyan ng percent sign. So, that means 0.5 percent. 0.5 is the same as 1 half percent. Another way. Dito tayo sa 1 over 200. I-multiply natin ng 100 percent. Again, doon tayo mag-multiply sa numerator kasi yung 100 whole number yan siya. So that is equals to 100 over 200. Kopyahin itong percent sign kasi nag-convert tayo to percentage. So, ngayon, 100 over 200 percent. Since yung mayroon tayong parehong dalawang zero, i-cancel mo lang yan. So, ang natitira mo na lang ay 1 half percent. Nandun yung percent sign. So, therefore, itong 1 over 200 or, or 0 0.005 ay equals to 1 half percent or 0.5%. Paalala lang, in-include ko ito sa example dito kasi minsan na itong lumabas sa mismong civil service exam at maraming nalilito nito. Ang 1 half, yan yung 50%. Ang 1 over 200 or itong 0 .00, 0.00, 0.005, Ang equivalent niya yan sa percentage ay 1 half percent or 0.5 percent. Thank you for watching and God bless.